It was 1996 in Chicago, and I was presenting at a meeting on the development of sequential media and growing human embryos to the blastocyst stage with the goal of increasing implantation rates and reducing the number of embryos we transferred. At that meeting was a gentleman by the name of Peter Svalander, and Peter had recently founded a company called Scandinavian IVF Science. What people may not know about Peter was he was a practicing IVF scientist working with Max Wickland and Lars Hamburger in Gothenburg. And the company they formed came out of the need for quality products to actually do the IVF cycles. They were very frustrated at not being able to pick up anything ready to use. Peter talked a lot about quality of his products and the need for testing of reagents and that's something that really resonated with me because that's exactly what we were doing in Melbourne, Australia at the time. A year later in 97 I moved to Denver, Colorado and then Peter started to support our work in developing human embryo culture media. Following that the G-Series of Media was born, the company changed its name to Vitrolife and moved its production headquarters to Denver and we helped set up the MIA testing facility and the quality control system. Two decades later, Vitrolife remain at the world front of IVF technologies, leading by research, innovation and technologies. Under the leadership of Thomas Axelson, the company has increased its portfolio, no longer just selling media, but all the technologies associated with it. And looking forward, Vitrolife are constantly looking for the next technology, the next breakthrough, trying to make IVF more successful and cost-effective. And as a scientist and as a lab director, that's music to my ears. Personally, for the last two decades, it's been a great pleasure working with such amazing people committed to excellence. 